Hey folks, Tech Tucker here. In today's video, what we are going to do is a CEX challenge. This is a first for the channel. I've done things like CEX roulettes, you know, things of that nature. And the closest I've got is doing a free game collection, which I ended up not following through on. And at the end of the day, it eventually became profitable, but I, never, I could never be bothered to make a video to actually show how that was the case. Just, yeah, doesn't matter. Anyway, so, in terms of this video, what it is, is it's a £10 Xbox 360 challenge, where what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can go to my local CEX and source five games for £10 or under. In terms of what these games are, again, as long as I don't own them in the collection already, they can be Kinect, they can be standard release, anything of the sort, I am going to be looking for them. So, I think this will be tricky, considering I'm at a point where I now have 500 plus 360 games in the collection, <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely optimistic, but that's not the right attitude to go in with. I want to make sure that I've you know checked a range of like genres and such. I'm gonna try and the one rule I'm gonna give myself is no like sports titles that are cheap because you can obviously make the challenge a piece of piss by doing that. So yeah, without further ado, let's take a look in the CEX and see what there is. Hello all you lovely people. So now what we're going to do is actually take a look at the shelves of my local CEX store. First game I pull out here, Blaz Blue. Uh, this edition looks kind of cool for a tenner. I don't know if there is like a big box or anything it comes with, but anyways it's £10 on its own so I'm not going to be part of this video. In terms of Burnout Revenge and the orange box as well, again all too expensive, much like Blur. Having a look at some of these titles here, Brink is a not good so I wouldn't recommend that for anyone's videos or any challenges of this nature. But Call of Duties are not a bad place to look in terms of some of these and this type of challenge where yeah you could get one or two titles perhaps you could maybe get some of the lesser acclaimed ones but Modern Warfare 2 for £3 would be a fantastic addition to anyone's collection. It's got one of the best campaigns in the series and yeah multiplayer is absolutely class as well. This is a title I heavily considered for this challenge as well, Dynasty Warriors 5. That's not a game I yet have in the collection and for £3 wouldn't have been a bad move. But again, having a look at some of these games over here as well. A lot of Xbox 360 titles, as you know, have went up in value as of recent times. But you couldn't go wrong with any of the Far Cry games like Far Cry 2 or 3. They would be fantastic additions to your collection and dirt cheap as well. Similarly with the Gears of War games, this steelbook was a pound as well, I was half tempted but I already owned the title and it was dented very badly at the back so ultimately I ended up leaving it. Anyways, there's Halo games as well, they're a good thing to consider if you're looking to start an Xbox 360 collection on the cheap. And there's even more titles like Just Cause, Just Cause and Just Cause 2. Just Cause 2 I think is the cheaper one of the two. That would be a fantastic addition to your collection for a mere £1.50. Now, you do have some games here, Left 4 Dead is a bit is a bit pricier, so you wouldn't be able to get that in the challenge. And Lost Odyssey as well, I mean, I guess you could and then just get 50p games. <laughs> but again, I already have Lost Odyssey, I have Left 4 Dead, I have a lot of these games, so I'm actually struggling to find anything I don't already have. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit would be a fantastic addition to the collection if I didn't already have it. That's a Need for Speed game I do quite enjoy, and it did have a remaster on modern platforms, which I own it on the Nintendo Switch. Rayman Legends, now this is a great one. £5, it is a tad pricey, so it, you know, you're, you're playing a, a dangerous game there if you're going to go for that title on this sort of challenge. Sonic games are a bit too expensive for this sort of challenge as well. Um, Surf's Up is a movie tie-in game, so you're probably not getting the best quality there. In terms of some of these games I'm pulling itself, Supreme Commander 2 and Star Ocean. Those two are the ones I returned uh, from the previous video, so I'm surprised to see those are back out. But anyways, avoiding sports titles for this challenge just for the fact they're a bit, you know, they're, they're not the... You're never going to get a return investment or anything, but they are, if you like those sorts of games, they're definitely good to pick up. But again, some of these games, the ones that I don't have are all the more expensive ones. So a tad trick here, but there's some more games that have just been processed, so back to the game room for pickups. Alright then, folks. So, I wanted to make sure I wasn't just going to buy, you know, everything and anything. I wanted to try and get games I actually want to have in the collection, and did I pass? Did I fail? I unfortunately failed this challenge. Not only did I get four titles, I also went 50 pence over budget, because I spent £10.50. Ah, well, what we'll do is we'll review the pickups. I did try and get a range of genres here. So the first title that I got that I'm quite happy to have 
found this case is a bit dirty so I'll need to clean it is Project Gotham Racing 3 this is the third entry in the series obviously but yeah this one's got a promotional copy disc which it's not the end of the world for the game it cost one pound it's got the manual and such I'm happy enough with that but yeah this is the third entry in the series I think that the Project Gotham Racing series is um quite close to like sim yeah it's like simulator levels of uh, racing as opposed to it being more like arcadey slash cartoonish so yeah picked that one up for a pound so happy to add that collection i thought i might have it so that kid have got disqualified from the the challenge however i own project gotham racing 4 and i knew that because they were side by side and i compared the box arts i'm like i'm positive i don't own three and that was correct so first game in one pound spent that's a really solid use of £1, to be perfectly honest. You can get much worse and much worse, you know, games that will not provide any level of entertainment for a pound. Like this next one here, Aragon, on the 360 here. I do believe this is like a third-person action game. Um, yeah, it's got Xbox 360 exclusive cold boss battles and two additional levels as well. So, I mean, this one was published by Sierra back in the day. Again, this one here. It has the manual as well. That's some criteria I try and like to follow is to make sure games do indeed have their manuals. But yeah, for one pound, can't complain about that. It is a movie tie-in, as is this next title right here. And it is G.I. Joe, The Rise of the Cobra. I do believe this is a third-person cover sure, kind of like Gears of War. And uh, for £3.50, the game got middling reviews. And this case feels like brand new. It's so clean. And then I looked at the disc as well, and it's spotless as well. So this is a very clean copy. This one goes on eBay as well for a solid, like, anything for, like, 5 to £8 pounds as well. So for £3.50 and the condition it's in, absolutely fantastic price and what a steal. So in terms of uh, genres, I've got a third-person cover shooter, like a third-person action game, and a racing game. So this final game kind of mixes that up even further as a platformer, and it is Rayman Legends. So this one is one that I do have on the Nintendo Switch. I'm trying not to like double dip for games and such, but this one fit right in with this the criteria of said challenge. So this one is also backwards compatible on the Xbox One Series X, so I can also play this on modern platforms as well. So hey, why not, right? <laughs> but um, Rayman Origins and Rayman Legends are both excellent 2D platforms with beautiful hand-drawn sprites and such. Like the characters, everything looks good. Rayman Legends has some awesome music themed levels as well. So if you've not checked this one, I'd highly recommend it. But yeah, that's uh, the challenge right here. So £10.50 spent, four games acquired. But if you checked out the footage that, you know, I showed at the, you know, throughout the video, I guess, you can see there is loads of fantastic games still at amazing prices. It just so happens that in today's episode, I happen to own pretty much everything there. It was very difficult to pick out games that would A, fit in the budget, and B, be semi-decent recommendations. So, for the prices, I'm still happy that I got these games for £10.50. It's not bad value for money at all, especially Rayman Legends at £5. That's definitely the heavy hitter out of this one. And then £3.50 on G.I. Joe. But for the likes of like Gears of War and your Halos and that, they're like a pound, pound or two each. So, I didn't succeed in this challenge this time, but I will probably make a follow-up in the future and see if I can do it in another CEX store. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching as always and catch you in the next one. Thanks and goodbye.